Hey, welcome to Story Lab. This week we're talking about forgiveness while we take a look at the story of someone who totally missed the point. Hey everybody, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about forgiveness. Which is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. So Zeke, have you tried out forgiveness lately? Yeah, I forgave my mom this morning for waking me up. <laughs> you should thank her for that. But I don't like waking up. <sighs> hey, because your mom woke you up, you're here and now we get to do all this cool stuff. I do like cool stuff. And... It's your turn to figure out the cool stuff. Oh, uh, uh, yep. You did plan something, right? Yep. Right? Still waking up, okay? You know, you could just drink coffee. Oh, blah. Oh, that's awful. Uh, let's, ooh, let's get a move on. Ooh, what's under here? It's the heavyweight challenge. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to pick up each item and then rank it from lightest to heaviest. Mm, that should be easy. Go for it. Okay, um, feathers. The Rice Krispies are heavier, I think. Yeah, unless you're trying to be sneaky and the feathers are actually heavier, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, what's next? Oh, well, pennies, that's easy. That's gotta be one of the heaviest, right? So, oh, no, no, no. It should be the, uh, the billiard balls. Yep, yep, the billiard balls, yeah. Pennies, put them right here. The bread and mm. There. Final answer. Final answer. How confident are you? Very confident. The bread and the towel were a little tricky, but I think I got the rest. Okay, now we weigh. Okay, I guess we can start with the feathers first. Oh, okay, so one pound of feathers. Um, let's go with the Rice Krispies next. Yes. Wait. The feathers and the Rice Krispies are both one pound? I guess they were kind of close. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to see this. Oh, you totally got me. What? All this stuff is one pound, right? Even the billiard balls. Maybe. We're gonna see right now. That's what we're gonna do. One pound, Zeke. Let's try the pennies. The pennies can't be one pound. They can't be. One pound. Zeke, if the billiard balls are one pound. What? How does all this stuff weigh the same? Congratulations, you have discovered the size weight illusion. This is the phenomenon in which the smaller of two equally heavy objects is perceived to be heavier than the larger object. So a pound of pennies, or billiard balls, or even bricks will always feel heavier than a pound of feathers? Even though they weigh the same. Mind blown. Today's story might blow your mind too. It's time for The Story Before the Story. Today we're in Matthew, the first book in the New Testament. But before Matthew, in the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. 
But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to draw people back into relationship. So at the right time, God sent a tiny baby to be born in the small town of Bethlehem, God's very own son, Jesus. When Jesus grew up, he began to travel from town to town, teaching and healing. Often, when Jesus taught, he spoke in parables or stories, using everyday things to help people understand spiritual truths. Which is where our story starts. Take it away, Brian. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. One day, Peter, one of Jesus' closest friends and followers, came up to him with a big question. Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Now, Peter may have been giving himself a pat on the back here. Hey, look at what an awesome person I am, forgiving more than once. <laughs> but Jesus wasn't impressed with that. I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Jesus knew that Peter and his other friends weren't really getting the point. So, Jesus used a story to make it clear. The kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to collect all the money his servants owed him. Who owes the most money to the royal treasury? That would be Amos. How much does he owe? 10,000 bags of gold. 10,000 bags of gold? 10,000 bags of gold. Bring him to me this instant. The servant who owed 10,000 bags of gold was immediately brought before the king. You owe me 10,000 bags of gold. Pay up. I don't have it. You don't have it. I don't have it. Guards, sell this man and his whole family to work until they can pay back every cent. No, please, please, just give me a little time. I'll pay back everything. Okay, now come on, let's be real. There is no way that the servant would be able to pay off 10,000 bags of gold, even if he worked his whole life. The servant knew it, the king knew it, and he felt sorry for the man. All right, I forgive you. You forgive me? I forgive you. You don't have to pay a cent. The servant was so amazed and overjoyed that he left the palace leaping and dancing. Minutes ago, it seemed he would never be free. Now, he didn't know a single penny. He could go anywhere, do anything. Woohoo! Life is good. But even as this man celebrated, he saw another of the king's servants, a man who owed him 100 silver coins. The first servant stopped in his tracks. Hey, you owe me 100 silver coins. Uh, yes, I, I, I do. I, I don't quite have it all. Uh, huh? The first servant grabbed the second man by the throat and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me. Give me time. I'll pay back everything. Now, the first servant just had a debt of 10,000 bags of gold wiped out completely. He could definitely overlook a few silver coins, right? Well, you'd think. Instead, the first servant had the second one thrown in prison until he could repay the whole debt. Some of the king's other servants saw what happened, and boy, were they steamed about it. They went immediately to the king and told him the whole story. Bring him to me. Oh, um, hey, your majesty. You evil servant. Oh, a little harsh. I forgave all that you owed me because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on the other servant just as I had mercy on you? Well, 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 well um, um, if, if, you know, that, that, that's a great question. The king was so angry that he had the servant thrown in jail sentenced to stay there until he paid back every penny. Jesus finished his story. This is how my Father in heaven will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or your sister from your heart. Peter and the others were silent as the truth of Jesus' words sunk in. Forgiveness isn't something you can put limits on. God has forgiven each of us more than we will ever know. So we can pass on that same forgiveness 
to those who wrong us too. The end. That is crazy. I mean, how did the first servant not get it? Yeah, that's the big question. It seems so obvious to us, but we can be like the first servant sometimes too. So what's our part in the story? Well, it's easy to think of yourself as a pretty good person, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've never robbed a bank or laundered money for the Italian mafia because they have my goldfish hostage or anything like that. Exactly. But truth is, we've all done wrong things, and those wrong things hurt others. Even more importantly, they break our relationship with God. Every wrong thing we do is a sin against God, and they add up big time. But God... But God. God forgives us of everything. Because of Jesus, God wipes away the weight of all those wrong things we've done the very moment we ask. And because we've been forgiven so much, we can forgive others. Yeah, and when your dad has to work late instead of playing basketball like he promised, you can forgive him. When someone shoves in front of you in the lunch line, you can forgive them. Or when your friend wrecks your new bike, you can forgive him. There are times someone will hurt you in a really big way, something that may seem impossible to forgive. But forgiving someone does not mean that what they did was okay. And it does not mean that you let them keep hurting you. That's right. Forgiveness isn't just for them. It's for you. It frees you from carrying the weight of bitterness. It means you're letting God deal with what they did. And it may be really hard, but with God's help, we can forgive anyone. I think you got it. Now forgive me, because I got to go. See you next time. So here's the thing. Forgive others because God forgives you. Forgiving others can make you feel as light as a feather. Hey, check this out. Ooh, very pretty. Now, how much do you think it weighs? Hmm, a cloud? They look so light and fluffy, but they're really big. I don't know. How about a pound? Hmm, mm. good guess. How about one billion, four million pounds? Okay, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously, what? seriously, for real, yeah. I can't even wrap my brain around that. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See, See you next time. time.